Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach to help you simplify your marketing so you can get seen, get heard and get paying clients even if you're working a full-time job. I'm tackling one big question that a lot of coaches have, especially if you're working as a full-time or maybe you're wearing multiple hats or in your life and you're wondering, I'm just one person. How can I possibly do it all? Well, guess what? You don't have to. So let's dive into the three of my favorite tools that can help you to automate your coaching business and that might become your BFF in 2024. First and foremost, you need to have a scheduling system. One of the biggest struggle that I had when I was first transitioning from a full-time pharmacist to a full-time coach was scheduling. I juggle between my work schedule versus the, the time that I need to take on these discovery calls. One of the things that you might want to consider if you're someone who's working nine to five and you work long hours, and perhaps during the week, you might not have any time to schedule any appointments or take on any discovery calls. You might want to consider opening up one day out of your weekend schedule and just dedicate that to your discovery call. Hallelujah. And there's nothing wrong with saying, no, you know, I only see clients on the weekend and there you have it. You take full control of when you want to do it, how you want to do it, and who you want to open it to. One of the powerful things I incorporated early on in my business is having a calendar. Things like Calendly or Acuity, those are two great platforms that allows you to integrate to your personal and your work schedule so that you can screen all the conflicts that you may have on your personal schedule or for, with your work schedule. Both have great options and the setup is really easy that allows you to integrate to your personal calendar and your work schedule. So I have all combined onto my Google Calendar, which will then integrate into my Calendly so that it will screen for any duplicated or complex meeting that I don't have any room to take on. And so I typically would go into my Google Calendar and time block all the available days and time that I would like to take on discovery call and I would put those time block out and just to make them available and, and be reflected on my calendar schedule. This way, when you present it to a potential client, they can easily see and tell what is your availability instead of going back and forth. I'll do, would this day work for you? Would that day work for you? When you make it easy for your client, chances are you're increasing the likelihood of someone wanted to actually book a call. Now, the good thing about Calendly and Acuity is a lot of time you also get notification ahead of time. So if you set it up properly, you would be able to notify your clients ahead of time before the meeting actually gets started. So you can set up notifying your potential client 24 hours before your meeting start, or you can set a text message to them and just one hour ahead and say, hey, um, I'll be waiting for you. And that reduces a lot of uh, no-shows from your potential client when they book on these discovery calls. And the other good thing about having a calendar and automation set up this way is that now you can incorporate your pre-screening process or pre-qualification question inside these calendar system so that you don't have to worry about whether or not this is a client who has the budget to sign up to your program or not. So you can incorporate one of those qualifying questions like, do you have the budget to work with me? And that would help you to get an understanding of where the client is at and what they're struggling with and whether or not they have the right resources to start working with you. All right, so now that you have taken control of your schedule, let's move on and stay on top of the client interactions. Tool number two is an all-in-one project management tool. Imagine a single place where you go and you can manage all your clients, planning your social media, and keep track of all your coaching session notes, your tasks. That's Notion for you. It's a powerhouse of tools acting like a second brain for you so you can keep your brain free and do the things that you actually love. Some of the key features that you can set up in Notion are CRM, 
capability. You can track clients' notes. You can track your session notes. You can track all your follow-up conversation. You can also incorporate a social media planner, scheduling posts, brainstorming all these content ideas and keeping them one place and one place only so that you can continue to monitor the engagement. And perhaps you want to recycle the content. You can easily use the search function from Notion and look up the content that you have already created in the past. Task management, like setting up priority, the deadline, you can all get it done inside Notion and organize all your to-do lists. It almost feels like you're having a virtual assistant without actually having a virtual assistant because then you'll be able to organize everything in just one single place and it's easy for you to look up. Now, if you like, I do have a template on Notion that has been pre-built for you that includes the CRM, include the social media planner, and also task management. So you will never skip a B inside your coaching business as you're transitioning this into a full-time business. Simply go to the link down below and you will be able to grab a copy of it and install it today. And so you can keep everything organized in just one single place. Now, if you're not someone who liked the Notion, there's also Trello, there's Monday and Asana. These are all alternative project management tools that you can use in your business to help you stay organized. The bottom line is you got to pick one that you are most comfortable to use with and so that you can stay consistent. Tool number three is having an automated marketing tool. Now, some of us hate the word automated. We think that automation is just so impersonal. It's not something that I would do in my business. But when you think about it, there's a lot of things that we automate in our life, including the, your coffee maker, that you get a cup of coffee every single morning. When is the last time you program your coffee so that it would be automated and by the time you wake up in the morning, you already have a fresh cup of coffee. So think of your automation in your coaching business as the tools that's going to help you to stay organized so that you can stay consistent. So there's absolutely nothing wrong to incorporate automation into your business that would help you to free up the time that you actually need to do something that's more of your passion, so if you're someone who's stressed about the importance of, of consistent marketing, I would highly suggest that you look into a social media and email marketing tool like Later or ConvertKit, just to name a few. These are great tools that will allow you to schedule your social media posts and send out emails in advance so that you can actually plan ahead your life. Now, typically my workflow involves, I dedicate one day out of my week so that I can focus on creating social media content for that whole entire week and scheduling out my regular programming through my email marketing platform. And personally, I use ActiveCampaign, which will help you free up the time that you need so that you can focus on something else during the week. Remember, consistency doesn't mean constant work. It means that letting these tools to do the heavy, heavy lifting for you so you don't have to focus on doing the work. Now, I did create a social media content hub that you can grab and download for free. The link is down in the description box below so you can grab a copy for yourself and start organizing all your social media content. Okay, so we talked about the three tools that you should incorporate in your coaching business. I would highly suggest that you incorporate those automations early on so that you can free up your time on focusing on something else that's more important. There's a lot of things that's going on in our life that we over-dedicated ourselves to and we subscribe to so many different things that really absolutely has no need and has no place in our current stage of our coaching business. So it is important to realize that no matter where you are on your journey, using these automation tools is going to help you to stay organized because you're building a business in the long run. You don't want to finding yourself in a place where you're trying to scrambling around for everything and missing a beat or missing an email simply because you got distracted or you had to be somewhere else. And that just creates an inconsistency. And when inconsistency happens, chances are it's very easy to lose that momentum. So in this video, we talked about the three automation tool that I personally would absolutely recommend to all my clients, including a scheduling system and all-in-one project management tool. And lastly, an automated 
marketing tool that would help you to keep up with that consistency so you would never lose that momentum. And don't forget, you're not alone on this journey. I got plenty of tips and tricks in my sleeve. So hit the subscribe button and join my community. We can turn your passion into profit. Thanks for watching. Drop your question and comment down below. I can't wait to hear how you're using these tools to transform your coaching business. And until next time, keep shining, keep coaching, and remember, you're meant for greatness. Ciao for now.